guys, it's Miss Ward again, and here's Lavender, and today is lesson 2.2 of Spinning Earth, Daytime and Nighttime in Places on Earth. Let's go ahead and get started. Remember, what we're working on today is to be sky scientists, because we want Psy, this is Psy up here, to understand why it was daytime for him when it was nighttime for his grandma. Last time we were together, we looked at a globe in order to help us answer the question about daytime and nighttime. So last time we were together, we put stickers on all the places where we looked at webcams, and then we put another sticker on top of that first sticker to show if it was daytime or nighttime. So we're gonna use this globe and some shared listening. So for this next part, you need a partner. So my partner today is going to be Lavender. If you have somebody else who is here with you watching this video, you can use them as a partner, or you can use a stuffed animal like I'm doing, or you can even use your thumb. So what you're gonna do is I'm gonna show the globe and you're gonna share something that you noticed about where we put those stickers while the other person listens. And then the person who was listening says something about what they heard and then partner A says if they agree or disagree, yeah, I agree or I disagree. And then you switch, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. My partner's gonna be Lavender. You can have whatever partner you want, okay? So what do you notice about the places where it was daytime and the places where it was nighttime? So I want you to talk about that with your partner and let me make the globe really big so that you can look at where those stickers are. So what did you notice about the places where it's daytime and the places where it's nighttime? What'd you notice? Here's my next question I want you guys to talk about with your partner. What's similar about all the places where it's daytime? And then what's similar about all the places where it's nighttime? So what do you notice that's the same about all the places that are daytime? And what do you notice that's the same about all the places where it's nighttime? Let me show you the globe again. Are you guys noticing any similarities and differences here? What are you guys noticing? What's similar about all the ones that are nighttime? What's similar about all the ones that are daytime? I did this same part earlier with Lavender because I knew I was going to have to hold the globe for you guys. And she noticed something about these four places. She noticed something about these four places. Did you guys see that too? Did you notice the similarity between these places? Go ahead, Lavender, tell them what you noticed. Yeah, she noticed that these four places that are so close together, right? Um, compared to the other places, they all are showing daytime. So, we first organized our data um, using this table, right? That's how we organized our information from those web cameras. And then we organized them using our globes. And we noticed different things when we organized them differently. A prediction is when you use what you know to make a really good guess about what you think could happen later, right? So it's when you use what you know to figure something else out, right? So we're gonna make a prediction together, seeing if we can follow up on this pattern 
that lavender noticed, okay? So lavender noticed that all these places that are close together, it's daytime there, right? So I decided that we would predict what, if it's daytime or nighttime in Los Angeles. Now, the reason why I picked Los Angeles is because I'm here in Seattle, right? And my nephew lives in Los Angeles. And I thought that Los Angeles was a good place because it's right in between all four other dots. So we should be able to make a really good prediction about whether or not it's going to be daytime or nighttime in Los Angeles. What do you guys think? Is it gonna be daytime or nighttime? I hope you guys made your predictions already because I'm gonna call up my nephew on the phone right now and you guys can see our conversation and figure out if you were right, if it's daytime or nighttime in Los Angeles right now. Hi, Joseph. Hi. How's it going? It's how's going pretty good. How, how's it going, how's with, going you? with you? Oh, you know, it's, it's actually a really sunny, nice day here in Seattle. You see that? Can you see? Wow, it's sunny up there. Yeah. Yeah. How, how's the weather in Los Angeles? Uh, terrible. It's really bad yeah. right now. It's cold uh, and it's rainy. Yeah? Um, yeah. But it's it's daytime there in Los Angeles though, right? Cause it is daytime. It's it is daytime, daytime here in Seattle. Angeles. See, look, the sun is actually in my face. I'm supremely oh. jealous that I have <laughs> Seattle weather here and you have Los Angeles weather. I know. Isn't that funny? Yeah. We both have daytime right now though. Even though you're in, yes. and I'm in Seattle. Correct. What time is it up there? Uh, almost lunchtime. I'm just about to eat lunch. How about you? It's lunchtime here too. Oh, that's really interesting. Thanks, Joe. Yeah. Okay. Peter, okay. All right. Bye. Okay. That was so nice to talk to my nephew. I'm glad you guys got to meet him too. So. What if we decide about Los Angeles? Are we going to add a blue sticker because it was daytime or a black sticker because it was nighttime? That's right, a blue sticker. Let's go. Oh, more data. Our predictions were right. You guys are going to love this part of the lesson. It might be even better than meeting my nephew. We're going to talk about Mount Nose. So, imagine that your head is the earth. So your head is the earth. How are our heads similar to the earth? Yeah, they're both basically round. How are our heads different from the earth? Yeah, we could go on forever about how they're different. But it's good that they're both round because our head is going to make a really good example of the earth for this next thing. We're going to do a role play. So your head represents the earth. And imagine that your nose is a mountain on earth. So we really have to use our imaginations. So our head is the earth, our nose is a mountain on earth okay and i'm gonna use my sun puppet to be the sun right and then i just took a piece of paper and i drew some stars on it See my paper and so i'm just gonna put this on the wall behind me you have a piece of paper and a pencil, you can make a star sign yourself too, if you want to, but you don't have to. You can just pretend that there's stars behind you. And then we're going to have the sun in front of us. So the sun is in front of us and the stars are behind us. Here's the next part 
this role play. Imagine that there's a teeny tiny person on your nose. So I actually have a teeny tiny tempest. So imagine there's a teeny tiny person on your nose and they're looking up at the sky. Okay, just imagine. So if there was a person standing on Mount Nose, right? And the screen is the sun and behind you is the stars. Which way would your head have to face for it to be daytime on Mount Nose? Show me daytime. Yeah, everybody should be facing me, right? Facing the sun. That would mean that it's daytime for whoever's on Mount Nose. Now, if the screen is the sun and the stars are behind you, which way would you have to be facing for it to be nighttime for somebody on Mount Nose? Yeah, you're fa you'd have to be facing away from me. Okay, let's practice a little. So imagine there's somebody on your nose. So face the screen so that it's daytime. Okay, now show me where you'd have to be looking for it to be nighttime if it was Mount, if you were on Mount Nose, right? That would be nighttime. Daytime? Nighttime. Daytime? Nighttime. Daytime. Nighttime. Nice work. Let's go ahead and put those two ideas together. So if we look at our globe, these were all the places where it was daytime, right? So if this is the globe and all these places are daytime, right? It would be just like if we were here on Mount Nose and here's the sun, right? So this part of the earth is facing the sun, right? What is the back part of the earth facing? You guys see? Yeah, if you were turned around, the back part of the earth is facing the stars. So what worked with Mount Nose works with this too, right? Daytime, nighttime, daytime, nighttime. We made a prediction about daytime and we showed it on our globe. What I want you guys to do after you turn off this video is I want you to make a prediction about nighttime. So it's nighttime here in Sydney. It's nighttime here in the Zambezi National Forest. Where else do you predict it would be nighttime? Where else do you think it would be nighttime? Any ideas? So I want you guys to make some predictions today about where you think on the globe it would be nighttime. Now, if it's daytime, for me, here in Seattle. <laughs> okay, all right guys, have a great afternoon.